All right, now for number two, um, the second option for assembly drawing. So what it says here is that figure two on the second enclosed sheet, the enclosed sheet that it's referring to is the page with the drawings on it. So this was the first enclosed sheet and this is the second one, but we drew this one already. So this one now, all right. Now, figure two on the enclosed sheet shows the first angle orthographic projection details of the part that make up a handle control system. In assembly, the handle, which is no part number two, is mounted to the body. So the handle, they put the handle upon the body, which is part number one. From the right side of the body, arrow A, so arrow A points to the right side of the body, and secure with a pivot pin, three, and split pin. So the pivot pin and split pin, they will be labeled there. So let's look at it. So here is arrow A pointing to the right side of the body. This is the pivot pin, where is that? Here, the pivot pin and the slit pin. And this goes into this small hole right here. They work together to fit into here, this box. And this box, notice, so they fit here. And we go back up here, it says, and secure with a pivot pin and split pin four, which allows the handle to move through the slot at the top of the body from left to right. So it's basically something that moves from left to right, it rotates. The handle can be locked into the slot at any one position by the M10 bolt five and M10 wing nut. So the bolt and the wing nut is what lock, locks the mechanism. So we'll go and talk about it first and then we'll come back to what it is asking us to do. So look at it closely. So looking at it more closely, we analyze the parts, right? And how they are assembled. Based on what we read just now, it says this is the body, right? And this is part number one. And the body are item number one. This is the right side of the body, which is, so this would be the front end. And this is the right side of the body, right? And arrow A is pointing to here. Now, this which we have here is the handle. And the handle, this view matches with this view. And this view matches with this view. So therefore, this would be attached to here. So you put this, move it here to go where A is. Um, and then this here, this piece goes right to this hole. So you notice this has two um, openings. So one here and one here which matches with these two, one here and one here. So basically this will rotate along this. So it's fixed at this point. This point is fixed at this point or this point. So here, fixed to here with this. Notice the square or the box part on the pivot pin that fits into this hole here. And then when it fits into this hole, they are all coming to this point here. And then it's pinned the pin is placed within the hole, the six the diameter six hole here. The pin is slipped into there so that it allows rotation left to right here. So this handle will fit here and rotate left to right. So this part will be projected outside here. So this goes with this, this goes with this. All right, now basically this one goes into this hole here, here, and then this works with this one here. So this works inside this. So the split pin fits into the pivot pin. And then the M10 bolt goes here in this R12 hole. And the bolt is locked by an M10, M10 wing nut. And the M10 wing nut will fix this handle in a position. So for example, Let's say the handle is fixed here from center to here, right? We will close it here, like boom. Tighten the wing nut at this point to keep it fixed at any point along this arc. So we see how they fit. This is attached to the body. The pivot point, our pivot pin is attached here or in this box. The M10 bolt is attached at this point and the wing nut is behind it. So. First thing we'll do is draw the views and then assemble them together. So that's what we'll be doing now. But before we do that, we'll list, we'll find what we'll first have to decide 
what is it that we need to do? So we go back to the question to find out what is it that it's asking for real. So here's what the question is asking. The question is asking for us to draw full size, meaning scale one to one. So every measurement that you see there, you draw to that measurement. Full size in either first or third angle orthographic projection, the following views of the assembly when the arm is locked in a vertical position. Vertical position mean everything line up 90 degrees, just like we have it here. So everything is locked. The arm is locked vertically, so you know at no angle. Remember now that the handle can move from left to right, but the handle is fixed in the center. So yeah. So you will draw a front elevation showing all hidden details. We currently have those already. You're gonna draw a sectional end elevation. So usually we're asked to draw a sectional front. But it simply means you'd have to produce the end and draw it. But because we're given the end in the sheet, so we have everything we need. So we have the front end and we have the front end. So basically just do drag reproduce the fronts, showing this hidden detail, and then we'll do the section the end elevations. So ask for along this plane y y y y and here is y y the sectional line y y all right also it says show six main dimensions including a length a diameter radius a metric screw thread specification and also print the title handle control assembly and the scale use show the projection method by symbol all right so this is an all fillet and radius is r three millimeters so this is a standard. Um, part of the question. This is a standard part of the question that you also get marks for. So please don't leave out these. And this is the drawing that you will be required to do. Always read the instructions. Please remember, it is tantamount. It is very important that you always read your instructions.